in section 5.7 we're going to be solving equations by factor. Now when we recall factoring we've talked about all different types of methods for factoring. Remember we always started with looking for a GCF first then next if it was four more terms we would try grouping method. If it was a trinomial which is three terms we would usually try our bottoms up. Then we also had our formula for difference of perfect squares, the sum of perfect cubes and also the different difference of perfect cubes and then today we're going to be talking about solving solving usually means when we have it it's going to be um, when we solve for factor and it's going to be set equal to zero and we're going to look for solutions okay we're going to be using something called the zero product rule means once this number one it's already in factored form it's already been factored for us now we just want to solve so we want to use our um, zero product rule and we're going to set this equal to zero and solve and then we're going to come over here and we're going to set this one equal to zero and solve. So now I'm just going to go back and get x by itself, subtract three from both sides and we have x equals negative three. Over here on my red side I'm going to add four And then when I solve for x, divide both sides by 3. So this answer is going to be um, x equals 4 thirds. Now in course compass in, compass in my math lab, I mean, you're going to, I think it wants you to put your answers in as negative 3 comma 4 thirds. So that's how you would list both of your answers. Okay, and then we look at number 2. And we see that number 2 is already factored as well. And since it's already factored for us, we just need to do the solve part. I need to take each component. I'm going to say 3 equals 0. Now I'm going to do 2x minus 5 equals 0 to solve that one. And then I also have 4x plus 3 equals 0. Okay, this first one that's false, so it's kind of like we just lose it. There's no variable there, and it's false. And now I'm going to solve the red one for x. So just like we solve any linear equation, we're getting x by itself, so divide by 2. So this 0 is x equals 5 halves. And then over here we want to do the same and solve for x. So we have 4x equals negative 3, and then we divide both sides by Four, so x equals negative three fourths, and my math lab probably wants us to put our answer in with a comma to separate them. Okay, so next we're going to look at number three. Number three is not already factored. Number one was already factored for us, and number two was already factored for us. So number three, we're going to have to factor it ourselves and then go through the step to solve. Okay, so now I check there's no GCF, and since it's three terms, we try our um, method trinomial, we want to try our bottoms up method. So if you recall with me, we say what multiplies to give us these outside, which is going to be what multiplies to give us 24, but it's going to add to give us this inside number, which is a negative 10. So we're looking for the numbers that multiply, the factors that multiply to give us 24, add to give us 10. 2 and 12 could give me, if I did that, it could give me a negative 10, but when I multiply them, 2 times negative 12, do you get a positive 24? No, you're going to get a negative 24. So that doesn't count. So then I'm going to try um, 4 and 6. When I multiply them, I get positive 24, but I need them to add to give me a negative 10. So when I try that, that gives me, when I multiply them, it gives me positive 24, but when I add them, I get a negative 10. So these are my factors. Once you find your factors, you're going to remember we put it over this first coefficient, which is a 1, and then we split that y up. So it's a 1y and a 1y. Check to see if your fraction simplify. This does not and this does not. So we have y minus 4 and then y minus 6 
equals zero. Well now number three looks just like number one did and we have to just solve by setting them equal to zero. So I take my first one, y minus four, set it equal to zero and solve and then now I'm going to take y minus six, set it equal to zero and solve. So I have y equals four and then over here we're going to have y equals 6. And that's our two solutions. And then we're also going to do the same thing with number 4. Okay, we're going to factor first. There's no GCF, and since it's three terms, the first thing we're going to try is our trinomial method, our, tri our, our bottoms up method for trinomials. So try to find the factors that multiply to give you this and add to give you your inside. Alright, what multiplies to give us 3 times negative 14 is going to be a negative 42. But it's going to subtract to give us a negative 1. Okay, well we're, we start with different things, factors that multiply to give us 42. And just right off the top of my head, 6 and 7 is um, the first numbers I think of. And now... I need them to subtract to give me a negative 1. Well, if I subtract those, I would get a negative 1. I need to make sure if I multiply these two together that I would get a negative 42, and that's true. So we found our factors. The next step is, is that we put it over this coefficient, a 3, and we split the y up. So a 3y and a 3y. Okay, and next we want to simplify. Does this simplify any further? Yes it does. We want to divide a 3 out of each of these and now that becomes 1y plus 2 which is just y plus 2. Alright, negative 7 thirds does not simplify so I'm just going to have 3y minus 7. 3y minus 7 and then that's still set equal to 0. Now we're ready to solve. So I'll set this one equal to 0 and solve. And then I'm also going to take this one, 3y minus 7, set it equal to 0, and solve. And we want to get y by itself, so subtract 2. y equals negative 2 over here. And then on the other side, we're going to have 7 thirds. So y equals 7 thirds. So negative 2 is a solution and 7 thirds is a solution. Okay, we're going to solve number 5. First of all, we want to factor. It looks like it's been factored, but it's not set equal to 0. Remember, we have to have a 0 here. So the first thing we want to do is subtract 3. And then we would have x, 5x plus 2 minus 3 equals 0. Now it's set equal to z, but, I mean set equal to 0. I need to distribute this out. 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Now I can see that this is a trinomial, and uh, I want to go ahead and factor this now. We're going to use, it. since it's a trinomial, we want to try our bottoms up method, which is going to say we're looking for what multiplies to give us a negative 15, but it's going to subtract because of this to give us a 2. Alright, well 3 and 5 is 15. I need them to subtract to give me a positive 2. So if I do that, then when I multiply them, I get negative 15, and when I subtract them, I'm going to get a positive 2. Alright, so then I take um, 5x and I put it under each one of these. A 5x and a 5x, and now I want to simplify. Well, the first fraction does not simplify right here, but this uh, this one does. So I divide a 5 out of each of them, and I'm going to get a 1 and a 1. So I have bottoms up, right from the bottoms up. I have 5x minus 3 as one of the factors. And then over here, I have x plus 1 as the other one. And then I set them equal to 0, just like we did in the previous. So now I want to solve.